All right, Outlaw Radio Live fans, we are live on the air with none other than the legendary DJ Main Event. How you doing tonight, brother? What's up, what's up, man? I'm cool. What's up with the, with the people out there? Outlaw Radio, man, what's up? I'm doing pretty good, man. Um, So I know you're a busy guy, so I'm going to get right into this interview. I have to ask, man, what, when did you get your start in the music industry, and how did you get your start? Well, I started, I would say, maybe 20 years ago, doing promotion. And uh, DJ, you know, I was running around with Def Jam, other uh, little music outfits uh, back in that era. And I started DJing, you know, and that led to other things. It just opened up the door from there. So I have to ask, man, how did you get connected with Def Jam Records? I was a um, mutual uh, people at work. With, uh, I, I guess it was uh, LES at the time, who was running that department. And there was people, uh, I guess, from the neighborhood that knew what I was doing that linked us, you know, and it was just a madness from there. Hey, man, that's pretty impressive, you know. Not not any, not any, a lot of people can actually say they work with the legendary Def Jam Records, so that's a really huge achievement for any any person in the music industry. Oh, man, yeah, definitely. Definitely was a uh, pivotal point in, in my career, you know, and opening my eyes to the business, you know, and meeting a lot of good people. So definitely appreciate that, that, uh, that outlet back then. Um, so I also have to ask, a lot of people might have not might not have known this, but you used to be a barber as well. What made you decide to uh, start cutting hair? Well, that was something that I picked up. You know, it must have been a, a guard a gift. I just picked it up and um, wanted to get off the streets, you know, um, do something different. That wasted my life doing nonsense out there in the streets. I just picked that up, gave it a shot, and uh, was successful at it. And I also have to ask, man, you are also known as a triple threat. How did you get that name and what does it stand for? Well, the triple threat uh, comes from being involved in, uh, you know, music, barbering, and uh, also acting, you know. So, being that I was pretty good at what the things I was doing, people, you know, started saying, like, damn, you're, you're like a threat in all these different aspects, you know, so it just went with, the moniker went with uh, DJ Main Event, aka the Triple Threat. You know, people know me for different things more than just DJing or just music, you know, or just barbering or, or you know, just uh, acting. You know, they know that I'm well-rounded with all of it. So, you know, they label, him, label me as a threat. And most definitely triple threat. You're a very talented individual. And you are also uh, the official DJ Appreciate for that. Actual. Um, how did you two get connected, and what is it like working with Actual? Oh, I met Actual, um, actually, um, back many, many years ago, maybe 06, 05, 06. And, you know, Actual, a lot of people probably don't know, he was a producer. And I started getting into the uh, writing and the artist side of the music met actual cutting hair. You know, I was cutting his hair in what's that, Stone Mountain, Georgia. You know, we uh, linked up. And then just from there, just started working. He's working on my stuff and then, you know, working on his stuff. And then it was like, you know, hey, let me just start pushing this this music because I was DJing also. Started pushing the music and then that just led to I was just doing our thing together. Shows came and, you know, you started becoming an artist and blowing up. And I just played the rap, I played the uh, part of the DJ, you know, and helped push, push the whole, uh, the whole project. Yeah, when you brought up actual being a producer, I'm, I didn't know that as well um, until uh, I interviewed him. He was actually the second guest I ever had on Outlaw Radio Live. So back when oh, I first started, yeah. I was a little amateur then. <laughs> Uh, you've been working though, man. You work, oh yeah, you man. I've been putting, man. putting in as much work as I humanly possible, man. I want to uh, help keep the real rap music alive, man. Show people that there right. is still real rap substance too. around. Push the culture forward, man. You gotta respect that. I, I definitely um, thank you for your time and your platform. I like what you're doing. Hey, man, and I, I don't take that. your time lightly, man. 
I appreciate that, man, and I want to say thank you for providing me with your time, man. And this is the question I've been excited to ask you, man. Um, you had the privilege of being on, being a cast member, sorry, on the All Eyes on Me biopic. What was it like doing yeah. that movie, and how did you land that role? Oh, man, uh, I was blessed. I was blessed to uh, play a role in that that big epic film. Um, thank God for that. But that was uh, being linked with uh, the outlaws and being around. And uh, one of the cast, uh, um, excuse me, one of the casting directors, um, thought he has a part. So we want to uh, put you in there as a, um, a CEO, you know, um, on your team's part. And at first I was like, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't really go with the with the the outfit or the outdoors, you know. Um, but again, this is uh, this is a movie, and I'm playing a part, and I was I was happy to just be involved, you know. So I took the opportunity, and it was a success, and it's history now. I'm loving it. So, uh, so you said you were one of the COs in the movie. I, I thought you were one of the inmates, like just on the just on the yard. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, uh, I was supposed to play that. But, uh, you know, um, just like with uh, a lot of the other people, a lot of the other homies, outlaw homies, you know, we was all going to play, you know, crew members, uh, inmates, you know, homies like that. And like I said, one of the cast directors wanted to, uh, he had a different uh, look for me. So I, I wanted to play in a, uh, a CEO. Of course, it wasn't a principal part, you know, um, but just one of the uh, extra CEOs in there. That's pretty cool, man. I actually, um, I, me and my wife, we actually drove about an hour and a half out of town to see that movie on the opening day and the premiere. Um, that wow. was, I, I'm a really huge pop fan yeah. personally. It made a big impact on me. So it's just, I, that's why I was excited to ask that question because I, I was like watching that movie on premiere day at 11 in the morning. So it was a great wow. movie. I still love it. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, I bet, I bet you had to be a pop fan. Drove for an hour and a half for that, bro. A lot of people were uh, a lot. I heard a lot of stories. People didn't like the movie. I looked at it as it was a movie. You know what I mean? It's it's Hollywood. Not everything is gonna be like one hundred and ten percent perfect. But I thought Demetrius did one hell of a great job. Um, oh, he did an excellent job. He did an excellent job. You know, um, I heard a lot of people who have different reviews about it. But the one thing I would say, it's hard to fit a, a man's. Uh, of that magnitude, life in a two-hour movie, and like you said, it's Hollywood involved. So how how raw and how real could you expect it? You know. Yeah. But um, like you said, the actors did a great job. Writers, directors, they all did a great job. You know what I mean? Beautiful movie. See, and like I said, I was honored to be part of that history. Yeah. Before we get on the topic, I just want to add, kind of like onto that. A lot of people were a lot of people put. Tupac on such a high pedestal that nobody can ever right. you can, you know, play him. I, I noticed during the movie um, that Demetrius, at first you could tell he was an actor, but by the end of the yeah. movie when they were re revamping the um, House of Blues concert, I actually felt like, you know, I was watching the House of Blues concert. Like I felt yeah. as the movie grew, he grew into the role. Right. You also look at it as that. You could say um, as he grew... Into pop, you got to look at that as well too. You know, in the beginning it was it was Tupac Shakur, but then by the end of the movie it was the pop we knew. So That's you know, true. Demetrius did a great job. You know, me in my eyes, man, and the casting directors did great on you know casting him as well. Oh yeah, most definitely, I agree with that one hundred and ten percent. But skipping ahead a couple of years. Um, on October 11th of this year, you did an event called A3C in Atlanta, Georgia. Could you tell us a bit more about that, and how did it come to be? Well, you know, A3C Festival, they do that every year out here in Atlanta. Um, you know, that's where I'm, I'm, I'm based at. You know, I reside in Atlanta. I'm from New York City. But uh, A3C, they, they do that out here in Atlanta. It's a festival. Big artists, up-and-coming artists. But, like, you know... um. And throughout the city, it, it creates a wave, and you have, you know, all kind of people coming from different places, different parties, different stages, different, you know, events going on. And uh, I was booked, you know, by a promoter uh, out here. They're doing anything out here, 
and he put on an event, had a couple of uh, actually nice uh, bit of artists come perform and do their thing and, you know, played our part in A3C Festival. And you know what, man, that actually sounds like a really, really fun festival to go to. Um, also, October 28th, you did another event called the Record Pool Mondays. Can you tell us a bit about that event? Yeah, we um, that's an uh, event we was trying to launch to get uh, different professionals, you know, different talents, you know, different people involved throughout the city, you know, to come and just display their talent and come and network, you know, and basically make create a platform similar to like yourself, you know, um, you're reaching out to people as legends in the business, people as, you know, um, doing their thing now, people up and coming and, you know, create a nice networking and, 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 and fun, talented place for people to come and just, you know, turn up at the same time. And that's what's up, man. It's the best way to do it. You know, got to keep that real rap alive. And speaking of real rap, man, um, I saw on Facebook that you are working on a new album with Actual called Highway Jack the Album. Can you tell us a bit more about that project and when, when can the listeners expect to hear that? Well, Highway Jack, we know uh, that's an album with being you know, uh, actual, like you said, we've been putting together, actually got three singles out, you know, we've been working on it for a while, you know, um, it's an album, I'm doing a DJ album, of course, we're actually the great talent, you know, um, and we're incorporating indie artists and bridging the gap with major artists and, uh, you know, using our, our, our platform to do this. And push good music again, you know, push the, the uh, culture forward. And like I said, we got three singles out, you know, a um, couple of videos out. You know, we got a song updated with uh, Dino Money and Graph from Love and Hip Hop, uh, but actual produced by myself as well. And that's out there. You can find that in Spotify and all that. Of course, we got songs on. Um, we got another joint out there called Updated with uh, Concrete Mark Deuce Deuce and uh, the legend itself, uh, Young Noble from the Outlaws. And, and actually, we actually uh, did a video out there in uh, Toronto for that. You know, um, that's that's also going to be coming off of Highway Jack. And we got a few more joints about to drop before the year's uh, coming, but... I would say top of the uh, year, I'm trying to definitely drop that album. We're going to push that hard, you know, and make history with that once again. Most definitely. When you said Toronto, that's actually about four hours away from where uh, the where where actually I do the broadcasting. So that's pretty cool, man. Uh, it's pretty close to home. That's, yeah, that's what's up, man. So you said about four hours? Uh, four hours, that yeah. I'm, I'm in between Ottawa and Kingston, Ottawa and Kingston Ontario. Okay, I heard it, Ottawa. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I need recommend. to come out there and get with y'all. Hey, man, I can't can't complain about that, man. You're welcome anytime. That's love. That's love, man. So I have to ask, man. What's the, oh, sorry, what's that? I was saying that's love, O4L. I'm, I'm Most definitely, man, for sure, O4L. Um, what's some good advice you can give um, inspiring DJs that are looking to make a name for themselves? First thing I have to say is um, practice, man. Practice, 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 and create. You know, practice and create your own, your own style, your own. You know, the next when you do that, that's gonna, uh, you know, exude, and it's gonna be in your your demeanor. You know, people is gonna is gonna see that, so the universe is gonna reciprocate that and give it back to you. You know, and that's that's gonna help you launch your career and, and help you build your brand and your name, you know, just by putting into it, you know, you keep practicing and keep growing. And as long as you do that, it's going to come back. So karma is going to come back. And you know, that's some amazing advice for inspiring DJs. And I have to ask main event, what's next for you? Um, other than the actual project, what's next for DJ main event? Oh, right now, you know, I'm just um, still producing, and you know, people don't might not know. I, I again, I'm a threat within music alone. You know, um, 
DJing, producing, writing, stuff like that. So, you know, um, look out for for a lot of production in 2020 coming from DJ Main Event. That's what's up, man. I'm looking forward to that. And I have this is the time of the interview that I give the chance for the um, individual that comes on the show a chance to give shout outs to whomever they want to give shout outs to, and also their social media handles. That way, our listeners can follow you on social media if they're not already doing that. Oh, definitely, definitely. I appreciate that. Um, first of all, I would like to say shout out to you, Outlaw uh, Radio. You know, DJ Immortal. You're doing your thing. Y'all got, y'all got your podcast moving. I'm loving the way you're doing it. You know, so shout out to you. Shout out to the other DJs out there. You know, and um, most of all, shout out to the artists. New artists, old artists. Um, any genre. All the artists that's creating. Because y'all make it possible for people like me. You know, and yourself, DJs. Uh, and, and radio personalities. To push the music. And that helps push the culture through our form, you know? So, um, shout out to everybody that's creating music. And y'all know, if y'all, y'all, y'all can't find me, y'all can't find me, y'all not looking for me. But DJ Main Event is everywhere. You know, you can find me on Instagram. It's DJ Main Event on Facebook. DJ Main Event on Twitter. And that's DJ Main Event. M-A-I-N-A-V-E-N-T. Event with an A, because everything I do is A1. You know, so it's DJ Main Event. The hand of the DJ Main Event all across the board. That's what's up, everybody. So make sure you follow DJ Main Event. Remember, uh, kick out the E and replace it with an A. Thank you so much, DJ Main Event, Thanks, for coming up on Outlaw Radio Live. It was an absolute honor and a privilege to interview someone of your stature. So thank you very much for providing me with your time. Definitely, man. Definitely. I'm saying to you, man. And shout out to everybody out there listening. Shout out to Outlaw Radio, man. And uh, shout out to you, DJ Immortal. Love. Thank you very much, brother. You have yourself a wonderful night. And God bless, bro. All right. Until next time, stay up. Most definitely. Peace. Okay. All right, guys. That was none other than DJ Main Event. Live on Outlaw Radio. Make sure y'all follow him up on social media. And stay woke and stay alert for that brand new actual and DJ main event record coming out at the top of the year.